Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, gentlemen, and welcome back to FS News. Happy, happy Monday. We are back with a new week and a brand new news video. Two things I love about a new week are some FS news and the start of some mod releases. Let's just hope this week is a lot better than last week. Judging by the test list we have today, it should be a lot better. Anyways, it's Monday, so that means we are back with the news, and we have some good news to talk about today. For this Monday, I'll be going over a John Deere truck might be heading to Farming Simulator from a mapper. Plus, we got some massive bell sheds to talk about. Now, like I said, we do have a huge test list and there is 132 mods on that list. Massive list. Question of the day. What other games do you play besides Farming Simulator? Mine lately has been like Assassin's Creed series. I'm actually trying to platinum them on my PS5 before the year ends. Last Friday's news video, we only got 376 likes. We can do a lot better than that. Let's try to get 400 likes on every single video this week. Remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack the sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's see this news. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll. Welcome back, and here we go with that first piece of news for this brand new week. Anyways, this first piece of news is actually from Senior Vertex. He is back, and he's posting some news for us. He says, throughout the week, he'll be releasing lots of news about the long-awaited update to the Vulture TCVT. He said, sorry for the absence. He's been actually at college, and it has actually taken up a lot of his time. But the pictures right here looks really good. Can't wait for this update. And after that, we have a map news. Cerise 2K24 is finally finished. He is completely done with it, and he's going to be sending it off to testing. So we should be seeing this on the testing list very, very soon. Now, with the next piece of news, I'm actually going to talk about this just a little bit because I've been getting this question asked a lot on this channel about where is the camper? Well, right now, guys, there has been no news on that. It's supposed to be coming onto the mod up testing very soon. Remember, this is going to be for all platforms. I know a lot of people have been wanting this. You just got to be very, very patient, guys. Last piece of news we had actually on this from WolfX modding was on March 30th. So we could probably see this on the testing list anytime soon. After that, we got some more news from Moldy98. And this is a translation, guys. So some of this might not make that much sense. But here we go. His next project, the Amazon Panther 4502, says a few words about this project. While browsing the mod hub, he came across this modification. It seemed very poor because it had only a 41 meter working with and little zero programming team. While looking through Panther prospects on Amazon, he saw that it is with the same working beam, a Super L2 with the same width as his UX5200, which is 21 all the way up to 40 meters. Says he took matters into his own hands, a quick cut of the model because, you know, the giant's skinning. But he's thinking there's nothing new in the model again. So what he's done, he's made a door open. There is no diffused texture inside the cabin. Done full Udom. Uh, three settings for painting the lower parts of the covers, light blue, dark blue, and black. Three monitor configurations, the Amatron 3, the Isobus Terminal CC1200, and the Amapad 2. New LED lights in the booth. He also says he thinks that that is all that's going to be in there at this moment. He says if he comes up with some more additional ideals to add some features, he will update us. He said, of course, the Pantera is also adapted for hose refueling. So if you're on the manure system, guys, on PC, it's going to have that right there. Also, point spray for precision farming DLC and the leveling of the work beam. He says regarding the UF suspended sprayer, it was sent back to him because the game patch came out and he had to change the number to the mod desk. So the UX5200 has been sent into the mod. We just have to wait now. See, so that actually wasn't too hard. After that one, we got some news from Legacy AG about some new Bell Shed pack that is now in Bell, te uh, bell testing. That is now in beta testing. Early morning. Anyways, uh, this is going to be a 60 by 95 bell shed. It's going to be 45,900, holds 1,008 large square bells, but will hold all bell types. Uh, quantity depends on, of course, the bell type. Uh, pack includes two sheds, both the same shed. One shed is auto loading. One shed is manual loading. One color selectable part for console, three for PC. This will be submitted to Giants for cross-platform testing once the beta phase is complete. Getting very excited for this one right here. I'm actually liking these bell sheds that, you know, the bells actually go all the way up to the ceiling. 
Now, the last piece of news is actually a uh, another little bit of a poll that uh, Mappers Paradise did. Of course, we had a poll, I think it was like about a week ago, about if we wanted to see the Millennial Farmer map, which there was like 1,700 something people that actually uh, said yes to that. So hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, they actually start working on that. But his next poll is actually kind of uh, something a little bit different. You know, Mappers Paradise is more of a mapper. But anyways, he says, would you yes or no? And it shows this picture right here of a John Deere truck. So what do you guys think about this? Would you guys like to see this in Farming Simulator from Mappers Paradise? I mean, I mean, I probably wouldn't mind actually seeing this in Farming Simulator. Maybe also in Case Red. Maybe something for, you know, those Case fans too. I'm more John Deere. But anyways, let's get to the last thing for today. And of course, it is the testing list in Man, this is a massive testing list, 132 mods on this testing list. And there is a lot on the PC side of, I mean, console side of testing. But anyways, let's go over some notable ones. Remember guys, if they say PC, does not mean that they're PC only, just means it is in the first stage. First stage is always PC, then it goes to console, then it goes to release. So let's go over these right here. We have Alone in the wo uh, World, we have BS Maps Buildings Pack, we have Calf Barn, Calf Village, we have Dredge Creek, Alaska, so it looks like that's going to be getting an update. We have German Village Fire Department, Great River Lands. We have a bunch of John Deere 7Rs, 8Rs. Those are probably from Dense Modding right there. At least the 2014 ones I know are. Uh, the John Deere Electric Prototype, so it looks like we're beginning electric uh, tractor. A bunch of lizards, including Rumbler ones. Uh, we have Mac Anthem, we have MF Bucket Pack, which I believe is from Ada Modding. Monet Seeds is actually in testing. Hopefully that moves over to the console side this week. Um, let's see, Riverview Farm, Samsung US328, Scania NTG South America. We have Three Sided Farm. We have Wilmina 22, always mess up on that name. And then now on the console side, we have AdBlue Filling Station, American Husband Set, which I believe is Lancy Boys. Uh, we haven't actually heard any news from him in a while. Black Mountain Montana. Uh, we have Corner Shed, Energy Generators. Uh, Coon VB2190. Uh, the Lizard 350EXCF, which is the bike. Lizard Revolution. Medium Sized Warehouse. Old Shed. Pasta Production. Uh, scooter. We have the Complete Shed. We have Volvo FH16 Styling Pack update. Warehouse. Wide span vehicle system and the WSVS slurry spreader. So we could probably see those this week. Now, my Zwingby test is 192. Current average waiting time is 11 workdays. So there we have it right there. There is the news and testing list for today. Massive, massive testing list. Hopefully, we see all those mods later on this week. Mainly that Monet Seeds. I'm just waiting for that map. Now, what is today's plan? Today's plan, we do have a live stream later on tonight, either 7 or 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know yet, but I will actually be on Construction Simulator. So hopefully every single one of you guys join us for that. Also, I'm hoping either later this week or next week, we finally get that first announcement for the next Farming Simulator. Kind of seems like something's ramping up. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, walk in the club, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Post videos on my favorite game almost every single day, Farming Simulator. Have a nice day, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up. When we're going dancing My heart stops beating